Hey guys, it's Cam Van here with Constantly at War. Uh, I'm just going to go over War Victory 116 for us. It's uh, 27 to 18. Due to server maintenance and all that kind of garbage, uh, we ended up losing all the replays. So as you can see here, I'm just going to do a recap. I got one started, Franz got two. They didn't attack our other two bases, and they decided not to uh, try to clean up the lower bases. Our lower people executed all everything down at the bottom, which allowed us to really spend our time free attacking. Uh, freeing up attacks to attack the uh, top bases. So that's the war for War Victory 116. With that, I'm just going to go right ahead and skip into War Victory 117 in the same video. Okay, so for War Victory 117, what we have here is a 24 to 19 victory. If you're curious about why you don't see any loot down on the bottom, it's because I'm actually on my second account, which I didn't bring to, to War, uh, which I end up using on another device. So uh, I'm just going to go over here with the matchup. I, there was just me as a Town Hall 10. Um, and uh, everyone else is pretty much nines, and then usually our, our eights all here. We didn't bring any uh, Town Hall 7s or anything like that in this war. Um, so it was an interesting matchup. There was a Town Hall 11, a Town Hall 10, 10, and then started to be nines, and then eights, and they also had no sevens. So it's a pretty interesting matchup. Uh, the way that their players' uh, strengths were was that their top four uh, bases were really going to be key in whether or not their attacks uh, succeeded or not. And uh, they ended up mm, clearly not succeeding. Um, so with that said, I'm gonna get into some replays here. Uh, I do wanna feature uh, Gambler here. He, he's a, our base nine attacking their base six. And you check this out, this is a pretty <laughs> clutch base um, attack, I should say. Uh, so there you go with the uh, two lightning, quake, zap. I'm gonna speed it up here really quick. And then he also, I think, had another uh, quake just to uh, throw it down somewhere. So he did a great job of deploying his dragons on the outside to let them funnel. I don't really agree necessarily. I'm going to pause right here. With the dragons that were at the very, very top, because you can see that the, the outer, the very north dragon is not uh, really going to be helping that funnel at all. And the troops were actually coming out of the clan castle um, like while he was raging and such, which is kind of good, but um, it seemed like like the clan castle was a whoops i'm gonna slow that down you see that the clan castle just kind of came out and just you know started really wreaking havoc on the dragons while the air sweepers pushing them that and then that was the main thing having all those uh those dragons being pushed by that air sweeper at one time and they all kind of stacked up nice thing here is you got a lot of dragons right on the town hall it takes out very quickly i'm gonna two times that up right now and then we get the air sweeper now he's got the a lot of uh three archer towers to go yet uh, not a lot of help on his dragons and it's starting to become a push here and now he's down to his uh, last uh, total of three dragons um, two on the outside and the one in the middle is just trying to, to breathe down as much as he can quickly see how long those storages take they take forever that dragon dies luckily this one has a lot of health um, so the bottom dragon finishes that gets up a little closer and I was afraid about this Tesla and the archer tower so you can see how very low health the last two dragons were but they ended up surviving and uh, consuming the rest of the base. So nice job on that uh, attack there, Gambler. Um, that was a that was a, our number nine taking out their number six, which is which is pretty pretty great. Uh, you don't really see that a lot in uh, in tens. Um, a lot of other three stars, you know, lower here. Ultra doing a good job with the dragon rating. Gambler again, so he had a nice six star war. Kazuki two just finishing out the bottom base because at this point there wasn't really any other bases left. So <laughs> we had our one of our top players uh, just kind of really, really wreak into the havoc into the, the uh, last base there. Caesar did a nice job here on uh, base number four. You can see he's bringing in a lot of hogs. Um, he's got a level four golem, and in the clan castle, you can see that uh, he does the giant for the pole. All right, brings out the lure with the archer, and then the poison with uh, some archer and wizard. And then there's the uh, the rest of the, the pups, and he gathers them up and then drops another poison. Now he just wasn't expecting that. There is a there is a better way to, to take care of hounds, uh, but he, he was he was probably expecting a, a dragon uh, with uh, either a balloon or uh, some wizards in it. So, um, but yeah, he kind of comes in here with a little golem. I'm gonna speed it up really quick. Gets that rage down. The queen's benefiting from that rage, and here comes all the hogs from one side. Uh, which was a really great idea and just kind of went in here and uh, you know with a compact base like this no chance for double giant big bombs 
Um, so we decided just to hog it. I mean, really, what else is there to it when uh, you don't have any big bombs like that uh, to take out all your hogs? So that was good. Good look at the base. Good read, and he was able to finish strong on that one. So, and then the rest of that's just all clean up. So I'm just gonna skip that. Okay, so here's the here's the base that I ended up attacking. It was base number two. Franz did a really great job of attacking this base, and uh, he almost two started it. And uh, unfortunately, he wasn't able to, so I ended up having to do another cleanup on it. And uh, I'm glad I did because I ended up three starring this one. This base has a an intentional hole right next to the Inferno Tower. So what I'm going to do, um, this is not a design flaw. This is actually meant to actually really screw up your raid. Uh, it's a very difficult uh, design. So I use the barb to to pull the the trap up and pull the clan castle out. I'm using the archer to do the lure, and I decided to use a barb down there to uh, trip. Um, the, the, the big bomb that was there that Franz exposed from his first attack. I'm using seven minions to pull a hound uh, or to kill the hound and it's a really great tactic. You don't even need poisons or anything. If, on, as you can see right there I actually dropped my poison. I was just trying to speed up my attack um, but I meant to do the quake and there goes the quake. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of extra health down in the core. Now watch the seven minions over here. You can see this boom. They're all dead. My minions are alive. Now what I'm doing right here is I'm dropping the rage down first, putting a, a level five golem and a level four golem and uh, my king and a P.E.K.K.A. all in the core. I'm healing right now because the one Inferno Tower is done and I'm gonna freeze three of the Teslas in an Inferno for a temporary moment. And then I see that my king's about ready to die so I'm gonna rage down and I'm going to pop my king's ability which that got everything in the core down and I'm sending in like 13 hogs to take care of that crossbow and uh, and then I send in the giants uh, at, at one point I kinda missed it uh, in the replay this this is crucial in the timing of the, that troop deployment I had to put a lot of heavy troops down in there keep the rages going had to heal down first and then freeze to keep the troops healed back up and then rage down again and I decided to put the queen uh, on the inside to also help manage with some of the defenses from the inside but I wanted to use her later because I know she's going to drop really quick. I considered bringing a golem on the outside of the southwest side and then having the wizards and the queen uh, kind of take out their queen because their queen does a lot of damage but I decided to go with this option instead because it just seemed to have worked better. Uh, it was one of those things I was like hey I'm just really really afraid about the defenses from the inside and I want to be able to, to do um, the, the the time to, to clean up here so I decided I'm gonna use the seven wizards just for cleanup because there's a lot a lot of uh, storages and, and it looked um, other things to do and I wasn't doing like a slow go wipe or go wee wee or anything to kind of attack from the outside so that's why I'm using all my wizards for the outside core and I was waiting to the very end of the raid if I put them in the middle of the core where all my other troops are I'm pretty sure they would have died and I'd be left with out of time um, I think the entire time for that attack was... I'm going to actually find out here. Um, let's do another replay. Three minutes and ten seconds. So it was a, it was a pretty uh, average time to attack. It, just, it was a very difficult thing. And the main thing to do was to get the rage down first, deploy a lot of the heavy troops, and the P.E.K.K.A. was a big help, and then healing again and freezing. It was all about timing in that core. Um, so it's a very, very solid base design. I just, uh, unfortunately for this uh, opponent, was able to uh, overcome his, uh, his trap. So that's all I got. That's War 117. Um, if you liked the video, comment and subscribe. If I can get 100 people to subscribe, because I'm currently at like around 82 or so, I can actually rename the channel. That's something I really like to do. So kind of know it's a long video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Cam Vant, signing out.